Welcome to another blacksmithing video. I'm Jerem Rush with Rush Fire Forge. Today I'm going to show you how to build a burner I've talked about before. If you have any questions about this process, the best way to get a hold of me is on my Facebook page, Rush Fire Forge. Rush Fire is one word. Okay, but I'm going to go through all the different parts we're going to need and I'm going to tell you where to buy them. Um, so first, here we've got a quarter inch brass plug. I found this at Evco. Evco sells pipes and hose. Um, this is a quarter inch black iron coupler and that I found at Standard Plumbing. Quarter inch black iron street elbow, again at Standard Plumbing. I'll just assemble it as we go. We've got quarter inch pipe nipple. This is 12 inches long, Standard Plumbing again. And then here is a tricky one to find. This is quarter inch female thread by 3 8 male flare fitting. Uh, this is a needle valve. It's brass, obviously. Find that at thermalartdesign.com. Jim Fox at thermalartdesign.com. He's the only person I know uh, in the United States that sells these. It's a Mexican company, Pressamex, that makes them, but good luck getting a hold of them. I have tried and tried. Um, and that's basically how you put that together. Now I'm going to show you a couple of specifics because you're going to need some pipe tape. You can use the white, the blue, the yellow. Uh, so far as I know, none of it matters. I've asked at the propane store multiple times and they always tell me it's totally fine to use uh, the, the tape that's not rated for gas. They say with propane, it's just fine. Now with pipe tape, if you'll hold your fitting in your left hand with the threads pointed in to the right and then start with the pipe tape on top, okay? I'm taking it away from my body, wrapping it around underneath, coming back towards myself, and then going around. You only really need two to three wraps, and you're good, okay? Now you need to go that direction, uh, because then when you thread it into here, if you went the other direction, it can actually thread the tape off, and that doesn't help anybody. So that's how you do pipe tape. You need it here, you need it here, you need it here. Here you can use pipe tape, and if that's what you've got, then I would use it. If you have any thread locker, that's what I use. Uh, thread locker is best. It really helps because with this flare fitting, when you put on the next flare, the female flare, to that hooks into your propane tank, when you get it nice and tight so it doesn't leak, uh, when, you, when you try to spin it off, it can actually spin this valve back a little bit if you just use pipe tape. That's why I like thread locker. Totally up to you, just make sure you get it nice and snug, but remember this is brass, and if you try to thread it too far into steel, it can break. Um, so, don't go too far. Now, uh, the next things we've got, this is an inch and a quarter by three quarter uh, reducing coupling. This is galvanized, it can be galvanized right here, it's not gonna get hot enough to matter. Um, as we get closer to the end, I will not use galvanized because it puts off zinc fumes. Those are toxic, bad news, okay? Uh, standard plumbing, I found this. It does need to be inch and a quarter by three quarter. Absolutely has to be, okay? Uh, and then you will drill some holes. And if you don't want to do any of the drilling or machining, uh, I actually sell these, so don't worry about that. But um, I use, I, I believe this is a number eight drill bit. Uh, but I tell you what, if you'll go to your hardware store and ask them, hey, what's the drill bit that fits the quarter inch uh, tap? They'll tell you. I, be I believe it's number eight. I don't remember. So anyway, you'll drill the hole in here. You want four holes um, and you can see how the spacing is. You, you try to get it right on, but if you don't, it's not actually a big deal. So when you put in the tap, uh, use some cutting fluid. Transmission fluid will work in a pinch if you don't have anything else. I use tap magic, but you drive that down in there. I spin it about a half a turn, maybe a hair more, and then come back about a quarter turn, maybe a little more. And that breaks the chips off. So half turn forward, quarter turn back, half turn forward, quarter turn back. Keeps your tap from breaking. I learned that the hard way. Uh, and then I use these inch and a quarter Allen screws to go in there. And so that works great. Uh, found these at just a bolt company. Locally, I live in Utah, in Orem, Utah. Double D Bolt is where I bought those. They're like eight cents a piece. They're great. Um, and this is a three quarter inch pipe nipple, six inches long. And you just thread that in there. You don't have to use pipe tape here, but I do because it makes it easier to thread in. Now, 
Uh, standard plumbing on that one too, by the way. This was one of the harder parts to find. Uh, this is a three quarter by one inch reducing coupling and it is stainless steel. I found that at ferguson.com. Okay, they're a little pricey. Um, and if that's all you're buying from them, the shipping costs more than this. This is like about six bucks. Um, but yeah, they'll charge you like six or eight of shipping uh, just for that one piece. So that goes together like that. And then you just bring this part. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned. I, You can either file or grind. Let me show you. File or grind this part here on all four sides so that when you put it in, you've got these four Allen screws and they can find a flat surface to rest upon. Now, you're going to want to take a little bit of time on this part just to make sure it's all centered up. I'm not taking time because I'm just doing a video right here. But you can see, and then you grab your Allen wrench and just tighten these bad boys up and you're there. So I've got a pre-built one right over here. That's the whole process though to get that all done. Um, this is one that I've already built. It's got pipe tape in all the places I need. Thread locker right here. This is secure, so I'm not worried about that. Let's fire it up so you can see how it goes. Um, I've already got the propane tank on. Let's turn this on a bit. Start off at a low burn. There we go. A little more. Nice. So that is a really nice flame uh, for just, you know, a burner that's put together with uh, some plumbing fittings and, you know, a couple of specialized pieces, a little machining. So this gets nice and hot. I do all my forging uh, with these burners now uh, just because they're great. They're not terribly expensive. I sell this whole thing machined, ready to go, all put together for $80 and then whatever the shipping is to get to your house. Now, if you want to do the machining and the assembling yourself, then this is $60. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent deal considering the cost of all the parts involved and then the shipping. Because um, I have five different stores I go to to get all the stuff for this. Uh, plus, if you don't have the tools, the right drill bits or taps, or uh, then it could be tricky. Now, there is one thing I will go ahead and do for you. I do go ahead and drill that little tiny hole uh, for the orifice because those can be um, just, just hard to find. And those little tiny bits don't always fit in your drill chuck anyway. So uh, visit my Facebook page if you're not already there. If you got any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.